On August 28, 1984, Patriot production set number seven was emplaced at Launch Complex 38 at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. The equipment was manned by members of C Battery of the 4th Battalion, 3rd Air Defense Artillery, the 2nd Patriot Battalion to be activated, and the 1st to be deployed to Europe. The assigned mission was against a PQM 102B full size aircraft target, equipped with a sophisticated jamming pod, which denies range data to the Patriot radar. This mission was conducted by a single fire unit operating in the autonomous mode. This mission demonstrated the strobe engage mode wherein a single fire unit can engage a range denying jammer. The drone target flew radially inbound at an approach azimuth of approximately 30 degrees. Intercept was at medium range and low altitude. The missile warhead had been deliberately disabled in an effort to recover the target and its jamming pod. However, the missile scored a direct hit on the target. On 14 September 1984, a very ambitious intercept scenario was attempted. Three fire units were emplaced at tactical sites uprange, remote from the hard stand launch complexes. The scenario consisted of two PQM 102B targets with range denying jammers flying in close formation at medium altitude, attacking one battery while a single PQM 102B carrying a sophisticated jammer and flying at very low altitude attacked a second battery. In the background at longer ranges were standoff jammer aircraft. The Patriot Information and Coordination Central, ICC, was in direct communication with all fire units and resolved the range to the jammer formation. The ICC commander gave the order to fire from his remote location. A two missile ripple fire from a single launcher was executed against the medium altitude formation by B battery. This permitted the first missile to engage one of the targets and the second missile to home on the remaining target. Subsequently, A battery engaged its target. The two missile ripple fire salvo has now proceeded to intercept points. All warheads were enabled for this mission. Finally, the live warhead intercept of the low altitude target is as spectacularly successful as the other intercepts. On 11 September 1986, a Patriot air defense missile successfully intercepted an incoming tactical ballistic missile in a demonstration of Patriot's capability to defend against short-range conventional missiles such as those facing the U.S. Army and other NATO forces in Europe. For the test demonstration, the Lance missile played the role of an enemy tactical ballistic missile. And indeed, its length, diameter, and overall characteristics are highly similar. Its trajectory was to carry it to an impact point within the Patriot defensive zone. The Patriot system provides an effective and economical answer to the TBM threat. Modifications to accomplish test objectives were primarily in the system software. Detection and track were accomplished only seconds after the Lance launch. With the target declared hostile, Patriot entered an automatic mode of operation. Launch of the Patriot missile was automatic, 
based on intercept point predictions. The Patriot missile flew a course that was counter-parallel to that of the Lance. Intercept occurred at an altitude above 25,000 feet, with the Patriot warhead exploding on target, disabling the TBM and causing it to tumble and fall vertically well short of its intended impact point.